How did you go last week with your gratitude journey? Did you enjoy dancing in the rain? I hope you did. I hope you could change your perspective. On our road to resilience using GEM, we are looking at empathy in this segment. And to be honest, I thought I knew exactly what I was going to say and where I was going to go with this. Empathy is placing yourself in someone else's shoes and taking on their emotions. And then I went on to Dr. Google. Oh dear, that was a huge mistake. There are just too many conflicting ideas by all the educated people out there and just too many facets and in-depth discussions with in difficult English words. It left me confused and feeling deflated. This was all just too much and I decided to go back to basics and what I believe in in my heart. No science or research, just straight from my heart. I do believe empathy is putting yourself in someone else's situation, identifying and or feeling their emotions and letting them know they are not alone. So you're connecting with them on a personal level. Sometimes this is shown by kindness. Sometimes this is shown by compassion. And sometimes this is shown by just being there with them. The thing is, that all empathy doesn't look the same, just like all sadness doesn't look the same, or all fear, or all happiness. We're all so unique and special. We can't experience and show things the same way. Something that resonated with me was how Bren Brown illustrates empathy. Empathy is communicating that incredible healing message of you are not alone. Empathy is when you see someone in a dark hole and you climb down to go and sit with them and just be with them. Listen to their feelings without judgment and in that moment you do not give advice. Rarely, if ever, does a statement filled with empathy start with the words, at least. I've lost my job. At least your husband has one. Don't silver line someone's emotions while they're sharing these deep emotions with you. Really sit there and listen to it. That's not the time to give advice or try and fix it. I'm really guilty of this. I really want to jump in and try and fix everything that's wrong. But I am trying hard to work on it to just sit there and be with them, letting them know they're not alone. Fixing the problem can come later. Using statements like, I can see that you're angry or frustrated. It must have been very hard. Those are the statements that you use. Alex L says it beautifully. Show up for people. Offer what you can, be unselfish, love people when they need it, even when you feel they don't deserve it. Be a healer, be kind, show up for people, because when you're hurting, you'll want someone to show up for you. But let's face it, does it really matter if I'm compassionate, kind or showing empathy? Why can't it? We just not have one of them or all three of them, regardless the difference in definitions. Well, with that in mind, I created a new word, word with the help of my homeschool students. And the word is impassive. Impassive is when you are caring, have good manners, when you try and make someone else's life easier with something as small as carrying someone's bags or with something as big as saving hungry children or when you are there with someone through their darkest moment. It is when you don't shout at the person cutting in front of you on the road. It is when you realize that your colleague might be struggling more than you with the storms of life. It is smiling at a stranger or randomly buying someone a coffee 
It is listening to understand rather than to reply. It is when you connect with a person in any way that you are capable of and letting them know that they are not alone. So let's keep it simple and start being impassive. When your colleague is struggling with change and new technology and does not get their planning on time or up to your standards, how do you react? When the people in charge, like prime ministers and management, doesn't make choices what you wanted, how do you react? When your child wants to come and show you their work or their newest Lego masterpiece while you're working, how do you react? The choice is yours. You choose if you connect and show up for people or if you push them away. I love the quote from Brennan Manning. In every encounter, we either give life or we drain it. There is no neutral exchange. Are your actions giving life or draining life? You choose.